Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we've got something incredibly exciting to share with you. We are talking about uh, the WAM 2.1, the new open source AI for videos. Let's dive right in. What is WAM 2.1? WAM 2.1, recently released by Alibaba, is a powerful set of AI models for video generation. Whether you are looking in creating videos from text, images, or even edit existing footage, WAM 2.1 does it all. It supports a wide range of tasks, including text to video, image to video, video editing, text to image, and even video to audio. And the best part, it's completely open source, which means it's accessible to anyone. To run it locally, I recommend to use uh, one of the best diffusion model user interface, Comfy UI. Comfy UI has provided uh, native support. They support uh, text to video and uh, image to video tasks. The best uh, thing about it is that the minimum VRAM usage requirement is about uh, 8 gigabytes. All right, let's get it uh, installed. First, make sure your Comfy UI is up to date. Open your terminal and run git pull. Next, download the four required model files. Diffusion model, texture encoders, clip vision model, and the VAE model. Once downloaded, place them in the corresponding photos inside your Comfy UI directory. The cloud GPU I'm using is Tesla Air 40S. It has 48 gigabytes of VRAM. For the example workflows, go to the workflows location. There are three JSON files. Download them and then can drag them onto your Comfy UI web browser interface. They will load the workflow. Now you can start your Comfy UI web server and uh, go to your web browser, you can connect uh, to the web server. If you are using a remote server, you need uh, to use the IP and uh, the port 8188. Great, we now have the Comfy UI. And then we drag the workflow onto it. If you see there is an error message, that's okay. I think this one is just for the saving purpose. You can delete it. And now we just to make sure that we have the correct model files, everything should be in place. It will show you warnings if they are not there. For example, this is the text to video 1.3b, and this is the clip. Yeah, we can see that uh, all those default values, we can use them, or you can try to experiment with them. You can enter your positive prompt. You can then modify the negative prompt. So there is, uh, yeah, I think uh, feel free to change it to anything you want. If everything looks good, then you can start uh, generating it. Here I'm showing you the GPU monitoring for it. We see that uh, it uses uh, around uh, 11 gigabytes of VRAM. It's doing the inferencing for 30 steps. It's uh, pretty fast, around uh, half a minute for 30 steps. Great, we see that uh, it now completes the task and we can get our results. Looks uh, quite nice. 
Next, let's look at the bigger model, the 14 billion parameters model. On your diffusion models node, select the 14B parameter model. The others stay the same and uh, click the Q button to start it. The 14B parameter model uses uh, much more VRAM than around the 39 gigabytes of VRAM. For the 30 steps, it uh, takes about uh, 3 minutes and uh, 13 seconds. Speed is about uh, 6.4 seconds per iteration. We can see the output. It uh, looks also quite nice. Lastly, let's look at the image to video model. This is the 14B 722P parameter model. Go to the model directory and make sure that uh, you are downloading the correct model. So I think in this case, the second one is image to video 722 parameter middle. Download it, put it into your model directory, the diffusion models subdirectory. Then you can drag your workflow onto your web browser. Make sure you refresh your browser so the models can be loaded. Select the image to video 14B parameter model. And then I think the others, you can use the default values. And then you can click the load image to load one of your input images. Make sure that you enter your positive prompt and the negative prompt and uh, click the Q button to start the process. We see the GPU monitoring is shown here. The VRAM usage is about 36.97 uh, gigabytes. Inferencing speed is uh, around 19 seconds per iteration. When it completes, we see that the summary is 20 step takes about uh, 6 minutes and 35 seconds. Speed is 19.78 seconds per iteration. And we can see that it turns the image into a video based on the prompt. All right, I hope you find this video useful. As we can see that the 1.3 billion model doesn't require lots of VRAM. However, the 14B parameter models does require lots of VRAM. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.